This is the Sophian Kirche. It is a Lutheran church, and uh, you can tell it's built in the old, an old Northern European style. My guess is from the 1700s. And uh, this church is important because in 1964, uh, right after Martin Luther King found out that he had been awarded the Nobel Peace Prize, he came here to East Berlin to preach. And he was invited to West Berlin and he purposely said, I want to cross over the wall and preach to the people who are in prison behind the wall, meaning the Berlin Wall. And he came to this church and another church and uh, preached and uh, the church congregation was ready and they sang the song let my people go which uh, is a negro spiritual a black spiritual but the germans knew it and they knew it in english and they sang it as a protest against the communists and uh, the east german dictatorship and the soviet occupiers the soviet communist occupiers so this is the famous Sophia and Kirchner. I'm about six blocks west of where I live and uh, I'm now about a kilometer and a half from where we were before and uh, I stopped to have lunch. <laughs> uh, you're looking at Invalidenpark. We're on Invalidenstrasse which is uh, kind of like the street I live on and uh, it's kind of a nice park. That's a water thing there in the summer waterfall kind of thing and then here I want to show you this is the Ger this is currently going to be the uh, German Department of Commerce, and they call it Bundesministerium für Wirtschaft, which means uh, the Ministry of Business. In other words, Commerce Department. And so they're um, they're refurbishing it, and it was originally built in uh, 1905 as the German Academy of Military Medicine, because. Uh, Charité and Robert Koch Institute are right behind me, and uh, now it's being uh, revamped. So it's kind of an old imperial style building, uh, and I hope they do something about the uh, the roof because it looks horrible. And uh, so that's the part of this. It's okay, Duncan. Now, if you see uh, further down that bridge, that is the San Krugs Brucke. And the San Kuxbrucke was the border between East Berlin and West Berlin at this point. So uh, here we're standing in East Berlin, and if you go over that bridge right at, right at the stoplight there, you're in West Berlin, and that's where we're headed. We're going to go see the Hamburger Bahnhof. Okay, this is, uh, we're just the other side of Chausseestrasse, so we're about five blocks from where I live. Sorry about that streetcar. And, uh, this is, um, it goes farther back than this, as, as you can probably guess. This is um, the German Museum of Natural History. Unlike New York, it doesn't have, um, it doesn't have a planetarium, uh, but uh, in uh, Treptower Park, they have the big, which is way, way east to here, they have the big uh, telescopes that you can go into. So I want to show you this, but there's something else that I think is pretty interesting that I'm standing in front of. This is a public bicycle pump. As you know, a lot of people in Germany ride bikes, especially to and from work. Uh, for a lot of my students, you know I did that myself for several years. Uh, rode my bike five miles back and forth to, uh, to, to school where I taught, but there's different schools where I taught. Uh, one school was five miles, another school was eight miles. And so I did that for several years, so I know how to do that. And in Germany, like in parts of the United States, and in Scandinavia and Netherlands, people ride bicycles. Sorry about the wind and stuff. People ride bicycles regardless of their financial situation. So you'll see very wealthy people with the Mercedes or the BMW parked in the garage, taking their bike to work. And that's bicycle, not motorcycle. Okay, so I want to show you that, a public, a free public bicycle pump. That's really, really cool. And they even have a sign there that reminds you, Fahrrad Pumpo, which means bicycle. Okay, I want to show you 
want to show you that that's pretty cool. I said, I want to show you that that's pretty cool. Okay, now we're looking towards Chausseistrasse. And uh, so, here we go. We're about uh, four blocks west of where I live. Uh, I showed you down towards Chausseistrasse and Invalidenstrasse. So we're about two blocks west of there. I'll show you that one more time. Really only about a block where that stoplight is. I'm sorry about the wind, but I wanted to show you this one building just to show how government is different in Germany. This is uh, a government uh, department and it is the German Department of Digital Traffic and Digital Infrastructure. So they actually have a cabinet type cabinet level office for this. They have their own ministry, which is right here. So I think that's really interesting. It's a big difference between, I think, Germany and the United States. Okay. I should stop saying okay after everything. <laughs> I'm sorry about the wind. I probably have to speak loud because of the wind, but I wanted to show you this is the Sandkrugsbrücke, and we're standing on East Berlin now. The other side. So if you look south, that's towards the uh, government quarter. You can see off in the distance the dome of uh, Potsdamerplatz. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's not Potsdamerplatz. That's uh, that's the Reichstag. That's the dome of the Reichstag, and um, and uh, so that's uh, called Moabit, and uh, that's the government quarter, and uh, you can even see. Um, you can even see the chancellery. That building straight ahead, underneath the dome, that's a chancellery. Okay, that's the German White House. And then, here is the canal. I forget the name of this canal, but in German it means like the little shipping canal or something. And uh, I'm showing you this because on the right is East uh, Berlin, the left is West Berlin, and you can see the difference in the buildings right away because the uh, East German dictatorship and the Soviets did not keep East Berlin up. And this walk that people are on, it's a promenade and uh, it actually has hours. It closes uh, on weekends at like 9.30. So, um, but that's, it's called the Mauer Promenade because of the Berlin Wall. This was a dividing line between uh, East and West in the old days. For my last um, item on our agenda, I'm going to show you my favorite building in Berlin. No, it's not behind me, that's the Etika Bauer supermarket. And uh, you can see the, uh, the S-Bahn uh, tracks, not the S-Bahn, the RE-Bahn uh, tracks behind me. The RE-Bahn has red, red trains, big red trains. But what I'm, what I'm really here to show you is what I'm facing, and that is the Hamburger Bahnhof. The Hamburger Bahnhof was built in 1846 and uh, it was uh, the main train depot in this part of town. And of course, you got the trains west to, uh, well, to Hamburg. Uh, outside of Berlin, Hamburg, or Hamburg, Hamburg remains the uh, largest city in Germany and the seventh largest city. This is Hamburg, the seventh largest city in the European Union. So Hamburg is still an important city and this is a Hamburger Bahnhof, except it's no longer a train station. Uh, they turned it into, in 1984, this was when this was still West Berlin before reunification, this was uh, turned into a modern art museum. So just like in Paris, where they took a lot of the modern art stuff out of the Louvre and put it in the Orsay, the Orsay itself being a uh, old reconverted train station. Well, the Germans did the same thing in 1980. And uh, it's a lovely museum. Uh, it still looks like a train station inside without kiosks or anything like that. But you can see the architecture of the train station inside and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, modern art exhibit, uh, which includes French art and German art. The Germans have their own history and post-impressionistic and modern and post-modern art. And uh, it's here. So even though you will see a lot of modern art in the different museums on Museum Island. Uh, if you remember, we, we uh, 
went past Museum Island uh, in our photo tour in December. This is where you go in Berlin. It's just seven blocks down from where I live. This is where you go to uh, see some of the best modern art in the, in the world. Uh, for those of you who live in Chicago, you know that uh, there's great modern art museums, two great modern art museums in Chicago, the Art Institute and the, um, and the Museum of Contemporary Art. This is even better than that. And so, this is where we are. Okay, I wanted to uh, show that to you, and this is our last stop. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, somewhat plebeian trip around uh, the, the uh, uh, parts of Berlin that are familiar to me but not so familiar to tourists. And I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, next time we'll see a few more things around that might interest you. Okay, have a good weekend. Uh, if I post this before the weekend, have a good weekend. If not, have a good week. Signing out. Shoes.